Is it a sculpture or a building? A little bit of both, actually. That's one way of describing the last building to be completed on the Empire State Plaza, also making it the most unique. A performing arts center affectionately known as the Egg. But how on earth did it get here? According to local legend, it all came about over breakfast when Governor Rockefeller placed a half a grapefruit on top of an overturned coffee cup and announced that the plaza needed a building like this to counterbalance the vertical towers. It wasn't always called the Egg. Its original designated name was simply the Meeting Center. And the name fit the function because, in fact, it was originally designed as a meeting center. But the name never suited the structure. To most people, it looked like an egg. So that's what they called it. And in the end, the public had the last say. But that wasn't the only thing that would change. A little more than midway through the project's 12-year construction, the huge meeting hall destined for the site was suddenly transformed into a performing arts center with two world-class theaters. The stages were placed back to back and honored two of New York's greatest patrons of the art, Kitty Carlisle Hart and Louis A. Swire. The Hart Theater features 15 tiers of seated rows, spectacular sight lines, and enough room for just under 1,000 guests, which is balanced nicely by the Swire Theater's intimate 450-seat venue. From the outside, the egg's sculptural flowing organic curves gives one a sense of a building without corners. The earth-toned patina of its poured concrete surface only adds to this organic feel as it contrasts sharply with the white marble and glass faces of the surrounding plaza buildings. Known for its terrific sight lines and impeccable acoustics, the egg continues to make the world of performing arts accessible to all New Yorkers and as such has established itself as a living legacy, not only to the arts, but to the vision that is the Empire State Plaza.